Severe storms, that's really the big story as we go forward later on Friday into Sunday. And this is going to be that main risk during that kind of Saturday period. Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, stretching into Georgia, even spots up into the Ohio Valley and Mid-Atlantic this weekend have a good chance. We'll talk more about that. But temperatures have been fairly warm over the last 10 days. Definitely the flip to a much more spring pattern. And this is indeed going to be even continuing as we go forward over the next few to several days. St. Patrick's Day not far away. Temperatures over the next week, six to 10 days, especially in the Northeast, well above average. It will be a little bit on the cold side for sure, sustained across the West. Red flag warnings, wind warnings in effect as we go throughout portions of the Southern in the Central Plains. Very gusty conditions and dry conditions are gonna allow that fire danger, unfortunately, to spread. So as the system moves off towards the east, we're going to inject a lot of wind into it, that's for sure. These are going to be widespread wind gusts, not necessarily top gusts. 40, 50 miles per hour, easy, but some spots will be, no joke, 60 to 80 mile per hour wind gusts. These are without thunderstorms. This is the complex. You can see that wind flooring into the low and then wrapping around that backside. Again, widespread 30, 40 mile per hour winds as this pushes off towards the east, but some higher gusts and thunderstorms can tap into that strong wind and pull it down. So the system coming out of the west, producing plenty of mountain snow, getting really organized. It's going to be a very strong low pressure center, one of the stronger ones we've seen in March for a while, but these happen in March for sure. Pulling in some strong to severe storms along that warm front, snow on the backside as it does pull in a little cold air, multiple rounds of some strong to severe thunderstorms starting to develop, Saturday being that main risk. Tornadoes, damaging winds, large hail, all possible, unfortunately, in towards the deep south. As this pushes off towards the northeast, notice this threat goes into the Ohio Valley. Heavy rain, thunderstorms, some could be severe. And then as we transition on in towards Sunday, you're going to have just very little snow on the back half of this system. But there is that severe weather threat that's going to move on in towards the coastal areas as we go through the day on your Sunday. Now, again, much in the way of back end snow, there will be another system quickly ejecting out of the west that's going to produce more inner mountain snow. And that could produce a corridor of some snow into portions of the Midwest and into the Great Lakes on the backside of this next system with some other stronger storms potentially further off towards the south. And there could be enough cold air maybe for a little bit of lake effect on the backside later next week, but a much more active pattern. This is the Wednesday night into your Thursday morning type system, a widespread one to two inches isolated higher amounts into upstate New York and a little bit into Massachusetts and Rhode Island as well. But remember warm uh, ground conditions, warm pavement, so not all of that is actually gonna accumulate. Then as we go throughout the next several days, there's that next system that's possible more towards the early to middle portions of next week. There could be a few inches or so. We'll keep an eye on that, but it's fairly far north into Michigan, into Wisconsin, into Michigan. Minnesota as the main area is definitely off towards the west into those mountainous areas where feet of snow is certainly going to be possible. 61 inches into that uh, the Reno area. Wow. Crazy stuff, man. Rain forecast, plenty of it, widespread, half an inch to an inch plus, but you're going to have that nice corridor that's going to be two to three inches with multiple rounds of some pretty impressive rainfall with these upcoming systems, for sure. So that means above average precipitation out across the West, Nevada, spreading back to Colorado and um, California as well. But unfortunately, the ridging continues across portions of the plains, dry area, but a little bit wetter, more relief into the Great Lakes. And plenty of warm air ejecting off towards the north and pushing off towards the east. Widespread 70s Friday into Saturday. Wow, crazy stuff. There's a little bit of the cold air on the backside of this system, but still very warm all the way into Sunday along the coast. Then, yeah, a day or two of cooler air, but we warm right back up well above average again, and then it looks like more of a potent cold air outbreak, but nothing Arctic. I mean, we're talking about temperatures just a little bit below average. That's not gonna do too much going into the middle portions of next week. That's why we're gonna probably struggle to see too much in the way of any kind of lake effect snow on the back half of that system. So things to keep in mind for sure, but it's an overall well above average pattern. Your NorCast weather update.